With respect to the exclusions uh, uh, about design, construction, etc., why is social and cultural and, uh, issues excluded from the council decision-making process? In relation to RMA uh, matters is what I'm referring to in that particular instance. Um, uh, any environmental and social and cultural matters um, that are related Sorry, to the so you're talking consent. about Sorry, um, I'm talking item about paragraph, paragraph, nine. paragraph 9. I think... And that's what you were it, talking about? Yeah, yes. implicitly, I think... Um, uh, other matters, the the um, the business case itself and the peer review of that uh, will trans traverse social and cultural matters in any event. But I was specifically referring there to any any matters, I guess, around the um, resource consents that are required. So it's, <clears throat> but it, it doesn't say that. The, the, the language you've got there doesn't say that. It just says that <clears throat> because it just says gen generally social and cultural issues. What the, if we agree to that, we're saying that we, as a council, cannot have any consideration to social and cultural issues at all. Uh, now, if it's uh, related to matters which have been decided by the EPA process about social and cultural mm. with their purview, mm. uh, well then I, I accept it. We have to either accept or reject their view, and we can't have a comment on it. But social and cultural issues generally, we should be still entitled to have, have a view on. Yep, that's fine. Yes, that, that will be incorporated. I think when you're looking at the the broad strategic issues that the regional council has to consider, that's mm. certainly got to be a part of it. And you know, when you're looking uh, even at the uh, the economic issues that council has to consider, obviously there's impacts there. Uh, any economic benefits or disbenefits will also economic uh, um, impact socially and culturally as well. So. I think, yeah, I was, you know, looking at the broader social and cultural issues uh, that come from uh, the strategy of this, the strategic okay. assessment. Mr Chair, can I make a couple of comments? Can I just add a supplementary to your... Yeah. You know, just, just for clarification, etc. Just reading there, yeah. Um, Councillor Hewitt, let's... Um, as part of the, the Ruatana for Water Storage stakeholder groups, brief was environmental, social and cultural. So during that process at all every meeting there were councillor representatives there throughout the, the process so they have been extensively involved in the social and the cultural aspects of the project all the way through. Yes, I'll just respond briefly to that. I, I'm, I'm not doubting that at all. But the thing was that the way this report is written, uh, if we accept the recommendation we're saying that this council cannot have any uh, direct consideration of social and cultural uh, issues. Now, I accept the environmental because we have it's been taken from us and handed over to the, uh, the the inquiry, and they will make the decision about that and the conditions on it. We're not going to relitigate that. I accept that. And it's only for us to either accept or reject the report. Or the financial part of it, and the design and construct, that's done by Aitsbrook. We've delegated that. I accept that. Uh, but I don't see that we've just delegated all the rest of it. Yeah. But can I just come to a couple of key points? I want to uh, firstly, emphasise uh, the points made by uh, um, His Worship the Mayor uh, Yule. This is the biggest investment this region's going to make. Just, just uh, can we get into the debate perhaps and have this discussion? Do you have any questions? Oh, I've finished my questions. Okay. Are you happy to move them? Or you, you'd have a question. Yeah, let, let's get through the questions. Sorry, right. Councillor. Just run the terms of reference and the financial feasibility. Will that um, financial feasibility also traverse the um, value, economic, the, the value of the environmental benefits? It's very hard to put an economic value on such things, but I know that um, it is a practice now amongst a lot of. Um, If not, perhaps you could take that into consideration. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a, yeah through you, Mr Chairman. It's a, a fairly weighty um, terms of reference, which um, perhaps I could distribute now or later. No. Maybe later. Later. Yeah. But yeah, there's certainly the decision, available ends, available the and decision and we, ends up. And, yeah. and, and we would be very interested in, in some feedback before, unfortunately, the end of the week, because this needs to go out on Monday. Yeah. Councillor Belford. Oh, sorry, Councillor Belford. If, so if you are saying that... Uh, in response to um, 
Councillor, that this feasibility would include some measure of environmental benefit, then you effectively will be opening this up to relitigation uh, of what those claims are or what their uh, substantiality are and so forth and so on. I mean, uh, it seems to me we either have to, uh, I'm sorry, if this, is, this, is this becoming a comment? I guess. It, I'm getting used to it, Councillor. <laughs> <laughs> Councillor Dick, you had a question. Um, I, I just think, I think, yes, this is a question that the points raised by, and the questions raised by Councillor Barker um, are valid, and I think that, uh, well, I'm asking the question, can item recommendation two be tidied up a little bit to recognise that we're not going to uh, and can't relitigate what, it, what matters are dealt with by the Board of Inquiry, but that in our review, um, naturally, we should be cognisant of environmental and social issues, as well as the, the, uh, a main focus on the strategic and financial. It just, I'm asking the question, can that be... Um, well, I think if we, um, if you're looking at um, recommendation two, then if you, if we, perhaps, clarify um, design, construction, and resource management issues, is that because that's really effectively what we were saying that we're not going to relitigate the plan change six and the board and the resource consent applications, um, which is what we actually meant. So if we were to put that in instead of environmental and social and cultural, would that do you think satisfy? And the consents. We're not going to relitigate those either. As I said, the, 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 the consents, the EPA process comes up to us with an answer. Um, and we have either to accept it or reject it. We're not going to relitigate it. That's how I see it. Isn't it? Yeah. Well, we, yeah. We can't relitigate it. We can't. So we, but we either accept the outcome or we reject the outcome. That's our right. Well, you know, the outcome could be um, uh, they issue resource consents and you choose not to take them up. Yes. That, but further clarification, that, but we cannot reject, as, as the word is being used, we cannot reject the plan change no. that they no. put forward. The plan no. change will be handed to us. That's that. And will be in effect. That's a done that's deal. in effect, done yeah. deal, and so yeah. forth. So it has to be taken as a given, right? Mm. So yeah, so that's what I was looking, you know, referring to there by the environmental, social, and cultural issues. Yeah. Catch this one. Happy to move with the um, with the wording of two change two notes. The evaluation process is proposed for a panel water storage scheme investment is limited to consideration the strategic, economic, um, um, and. Um, social and financial issues other than those relating to the RNA process, uh, uh, the RNA considerations under the EPA process. I, I we'll need to see this. I have heard of the chief executives because uh, it was in the, in the affirmative rather than the negative that the chief minister's formulation was that the <coughs> eighth of the book. Well, we've we've resolved design construction. We've got a we've got a motion being oh. being tendered here. Um, are you comfortable with the wording, or do you wish to go affirmative rather than negative? Um, I'm wishing to go affirmative, and I'm only wishing to exclude those matters that are properly being considered by the EPA right. and the EPA. RNA matters being currently heard by the EPA. Sure. Okay. So it should include the wider, broader, social, and environmental aspects of it. Okay. So, yeah. so, so, we'll, we'll, get it up on the so perhaps we'll, we'll get it up on the stream now. Issues, screen now. Um, environment and social financial issues other than external processes and identify design construction and those RNA matters being heard through the EPA process. Microphone. Okay, now I'll call for a seconder and I might ask Councillor Barker because on the basis of, of his 
I've had a discussion with him around an amendment, but it really, it's quite a simple solution. Have I got that correct? And it, it, it's almost written in that way in item four. But, but, but I, I, I will say to you that I support Councillor Scott's amendment. It covers the concerns I had there. But I have an, another issue. I know, that's what I'm saying. And you'd like me to foreshadow that? I'd like you to actually, if... Um, it's going to be an amendment. It, that would have to be someone else. Well, it's a, change of, it's a change of wording, really, in item four, which, which at the end says something along the lines of the proposed peer review of the H brick. Um, case on terms satisfactory to the council meeting at the end of January. Yes. So <clears throat> I, I, I'm. I, yeah. my, so you're my, happy my, with that? Yes. My my, my concern. I I think um, we should. Mr. Chairman, can we just get the wording? Yeah, yeah. And well, then then we can we can. See, can you the have a think about the wording? All right. And we can tidy this up in one hit. Okay. In my mind. Well, in the meantime, there's a question. Uh, I'm just foreshadowing. I'm going to offer an amendment as well. Okay. So I'm not sure where in this. Well, let, let's you let's settle that. on let's settle on a motion, <laughs> which is coming up on the screen. Let's sort out um, sorry, number two The investment is limited. Consideration of strategic, environmental, economic, and social and financial issues, other than those, RMA matters resolved through the EPA process. You've got to go those, between those and matters, put RMA. Those RMA matters. Right. Down one. Yeah. Those RMA matters. So the EPA process and then continue anything and through the external process of H brick limited design and construction. And then finish the sentence there. Yep. Yeah. That's it. And then um, how about how about bring financial uh, <laughs> strategic and financial uh, considerations, strategic and financial issues plus environmental Well, the mover. Let's have that focus on strategic and financial. Um, perhaps strategic and finance might go happily together. So, yeah. I can agree with that. So, you're happy with that? And second, are you happy with that? Yes, I'm happy with that. The main okay. thing is to get the board issues identified, but the EPA process is not about the people. And then you had some wording for item four. I, I, I relate to item three and four. So, that's now moved and seconded, that's right? right. My understanding was, with your permission, that you were going to consider a rewording of four, <coughs> and I yes. said I was open to that and moving it. Yeah. But yep. we, if You've I could see the wording. Three as well, well, three and four are related, in my opinion. Uh, but three uh, talks about a joint uh, um, uh, review process with the Crown Irrigation. I don't agree with that. I think the Regional Council should do it on its own. And so I've reworded 
propose to delete three and four and put in the following. The Chief Executive will bring to the January Council meeting expressions of interest from competent firms for the undertaking of the independent review of the HBRIC proposal for the RWSS, accompanied by proposed terms of engagement, and this will be independent of the Crown and other interested parties. The terms of engagement are to be expressly for the interests of HBRC and the ratepayers' interests it represents. I say that because the Crown... You don't agree with that. Okay, so let, let's l save that for an amendment. Yep. Um, so your motion's on the table. Is there a seconder for that as it, as it exists in the paper? Yep. Councillor Dick seconds that. Do you wish to speak? Um, yes, I do, Mr Chairman. I think um, that we should in, in find out um, how, where areas of rigorous analysis of the financial um, feasibility have a commonality that that is not necessarily repeated. And um, if there are areas that we can still remain independent of the Crown taking a different, because obviously they're going down a different path with their, but they still have to know that that financial um, stacks up. Just as Trust Power and Naitahu had, uh, did a, a thorough investigation of the feasibility of those financials and did it with due diligence. So if there is a, a cost saving to the um, ratepayer that is sensible, then I believe that option should be um, um, uh, used without compromising um, the fact that, that we're, we're bringing our own view to it and our own particular rigour around other issues that we want answered for our ratepayers. Um, secondly, I am concerned um, that there are, is pressure on the timelines. I believe that we can have things in place well before February to start a consultant doing the background work on this. There's an awful lot of reading there. There's an awful lot. If they're going to be doing a peer review, they're actually going to need to be doing a lot of reading. And the sooner that gets started so that we actually can have that, that information to us in a timely manner, the better. And that is why I... Um, um, sticking to the wording that, that I suggest that because I believe that we can actually move on this faster than considering it at the end of January. I'd rather consider it now. Thank you, seconder, Mr. Speaker. Um, yes. In the financial feasibility peer review process, because that's all you're going to do with CII, isn't it? Um, but it makes it clear that, that it, it's limited to that. So I, I don't know whether the mover is... Really happy with, with that okay. Signed off on point two. No, we haven't. We're doing it all. You we're doing do them separately. Separately. Well, we I think we do. Don't we need to do them separately? I think we, we have yet to. We have yet to speak or offer any amendments. Uh, no, be clear we put the whole lot up together so let's put that motion then point one and point two it's been moved and seconded all those in favor please say aye, aye. contrary no point three